Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, as usual, you know that I will be bringing one or the other uh, special guest to our uh, interview who are qualified uh, probably CMA, CA or CS for that matter. So in our today's uh, interview, we have a special guest CMA Girish. So let's uh, take his input, his experience, failures or whatever it is with regards to his CMA journey and I already keep telling to you in all my videos it should be a motivational factor for you guys so it's not like just you watch and just like you skip and all those things it's not expected from my side if you in case if you ask me okay so directly we'll jump to our uh, guest okay hi uh, cma girish how are you hi cma satish i'm good how about you i'm good uh, girish uh, thank you very much for accepting my invitation and it was very short notice i know but uh, we wanted to do face to face but uh, because of this uh, pandemic situation so we thought to have uh, e face to face uh, interview with you okay so thanks for your time uh, before we uh, kick start our uh, interview for the day so uh, you can introduce uh, about yourself uh, girish yeah first of all i like to thank mr satish for the invitation and uh, this is also a great experience in this pandemic situation we are uh, holding this kind of uh, e face to face interview uh, big, and thanks to the technology as well and uh, uh, to introduce myself i am cma girish and uh, i'm i'm basically from bangalore itself and i have done all my education in bangalore and i have completed my masters in commerce and also uh, as a part of my professional uh, career i completed my uh, cma course and i was uh, qualified in the year 2015 and i mean december 2015 attempt i could clear my exams great great uh, so girish for your uh, very brief introduction so okay so my first question is like uh, what do you want to uh, tell to our uh, budding cma so before we uh, take your uh, experiences i mean uh, to any any of my fellow students like uh, i am i am proud to call myself a student because it is a process of continuous learning it's just a matter that we get qualified after our exam but it, the learning the learning thing continues forever so i would like to tell all my fellow students that uh, they they, uh, they have chosen a great course and uh, they are i am sure they are on the right page so they are into it and i think uh, i wish them all the best and uh, i wish all of them come out of the flying colors great great uh, girish so before we uh, take other experiences uh, girish so why cma and when did you join you to your cma and when did you to qualify you know it's three different questions yeah. so you want to tell why cma when did you join and when did you to qualify your cma yeah it was uh, it sometime while i was doing my degree bcom uh, like uh, i wa always wanted be, as part of our uh, career excellence uh, while we have chosen the commerce uh, parallels like uh, we have to do something if we have to excel in our field like we have to do any professional course and uh, it was the time when we we had already realized that bcom mba was a bit of uh, common thing to do and uh, we had to do professional courses so uh, uh, due to that kind of realization i chose to join cma and i joined cma in somewhere in mid of 2011 and uh, okay and uh, soon after joining to the intermediate course i was able to clear my inter intermediate uh, examination in the first attempt both the groups so i was awarded a merit by the institute wow congratulations and after that i know final is bit difficult but uh, so within four five attempts i could clear my final as well so which which year did you qualify your uh, uh, it was in uh, december 2015 attempt okay fine great great um, so uh, can you please uh, share us your, or your can you please take us through your uh, cma journey so how did you uh, start so i know you just told that you started in the year 2011 so how how was the journey and obviously it will be not easy as people say yeah uh, it is like people always feel cma is a tough course uh, but uh, what i would tell is uh, see ultimately this is the course which we we have joined for and our intent is to complete it as soon as possible and we should not give ears to anybody saying that this is going to tough course it is uh, it is not 
it is not like it is impossible to complete the course it is always there a little extra efforts if we put on then definitely it will be very useful for us and uh, um, a strategy should be there as a part of learning experience there should be a strategy which has uh, developed by ourselves and we have to stick into that and make sure that we are we are in the right track and if you are able to uh, achieve our targets and complete whatever we have uh, uh, formulated in our strategy if we are able to achieve those things then that is enough i, I think we will be able to clear the examination and while while i had started i was uh, at the same time doing my degree i was working and all those things were there Uh, but it was it is all about balancing the time between the work and the studies and also our coaching classes all the uh, it is a kind of balancing ourselves and uh, targeting the uh, the formulated strategy to complete our syllabus or to complete our textbook whatever it is okay so now uh... a good thing you told it is a tough uh, course uh, giri because in my uh, other uh, student interaction around many people used to tell uh, that uh, compared to other professional cma is easier so that was the intention i just told it's an easy but uh, good to hear that you told it's a tough so the no, reason i am telling about it is studies itself i am not particularly telling it is easy or tough as any okay. professional course for that matter it is, it has the 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 courses have got their own uh, strengths and uh, weaknesses or the threats or opportunities whatever we call as so it is not particularly easy for somebody or particularly uh, toughest for somebody it will be like depends on our efforts finally okay so agarish you told uh, the cma uh, is a is a difficult course and all those uh, stuff so how did you mentally manage to digest that difficulty because uh, let's come to your strategy how did you prepare your practical versus theory all those stuff so how did you mentally prepare for that because that's the important thing right because mentally if in case if you are yeah. not prepared you will be not in a position to study so definitely, people will be having definitely. expressed uh, mentality yeah so to, how did you prepare to, for to take up any professional course we have to be prepared mentally enough as well as our academic strength uh, i mean uh, it has to be equally uh, i mean importance has to be given uh, on all the aspects like mental and physical aspects Uh, so mentally if i have to tell like uh, uh, it, it we feel definitely in the beginning we feel like it will be very difficult to manage the kind of syllabus we have the the extent of uh, the questions they ask in the examination compared to our degree exam uh, initially we will face lots of challenges because of the the quality of questions that if we compare with our degree questions and all so mentally we have to be very strong and we have to be uh, like uh, we have to concentrate more on the focus say okay. like uh, anyway we, it is uh, a bit of challenge in the beginning but soon after getting into the course once we give one or two attempts then definitely the focus uh, will help us to uh, create mental balance and it helps us to become strong mentally and when we are strength uh, when we are Uh, having the mental strength definitely the course will be very easy we can uh, get into that and uh, we can complete it as soon as possible okay so uh, girish uh, how, how was your failure so let's go to the strat- strategies later because you started in 2011 and then 2011 and then you completed in 2015 december okay so uh, how many failures you were having and how you were able to cope up the pressure of the failure because i know it while you're working then if you see the failure for sure you'll be having a lot of difficulty to digest yeah. forget about the others for yourself to digest that failure is is the toughest thing because i have undergone that kind of pressure so how did you manage to come out of that kind of pressure see uh, i uh, we have to first of all accept the fact that uh, the number of passing students will be very less compared to number of failure students so it is uh, totally ulta when we compare it to the degree uh, degree examination the number of students failing there is almost lesser than the number i mean lesser than the number passing year so it always goes like that so and we have to prepare ourselves for that and we have to accept that failure is pakka 
when we are giving the examinations uh, like this professional courses and all uh, failure is obviously and uh, we, it is definite that we are not going to clear the exams by ordinary efforts and without preparation and we just walk into the examination center and give our exam and we can't confidently tell that yes i'm going to clear this examination it is not like that when it comes to professional examination we have to give most of the uh, uh, background preparation like in the key is number of revisions whenever whenever we are preparing for the professional courses it's all about number of revisions and how how the number of revision is how qualitative it is and it is not about the quantity say i have finished it for five times i have finished it for six times it is not about it it is about the quality and how how you have prepared yourself and okay. it won't be a prototype questions type like whenever we, if we have the exams it is not a, a stereotypic questions that we can expect this many questions it may come this many questions it may not come this attempt it is never like that okay. so it is all about learning to the core and we have to develop our core competence in all particular papers and then we have to develop ourselves and it will definitely help in giving examinations and definitely the number of revisions is the key here in the professional course that is a, uh, i mean uh, i had many failures like I, as i was telling i took four to five attempts in final examination i could clear group by group reducing my burden <laughs> i mean uh, uh, i mean little compromising about my uh, what we can say uh, my ability in <laughs> uh, i mean there was a kind of pinch on my confidence when we fail in the examination that is always there but we have to ready to face the challenge here uh, the challenge itself is clearing the exam and we should like we should be like uh, not giving up any time okay fine even if i fail i'll clear it next time that should be the intent and that is how i have been that is how i have been so uh, at the intermediate level uh, i uh, uh, luckily i was uh, passed in the very first attempt but final taught me lots of uh, lessons and uh, it wanted me to fine tune myself and uh, uh, prepare for the examination and the approach to the examination was totally redefined by myself and uh, also the coaching institutes whatever inputs we get the positive inputs has to be inculcated in itself and uh, i mean uh, it has to be developed actually it okay. is a kind of development from intermediate level to final and then give the final examination though we are sure like the most confident uh, attempt was also given me failures and i was failed in those particular attempts itself and then i had to compromise on my confidence and then it it we had to i mean we have to give the best efforts and do lots of revisions and then go to the exams again uh, again and then definitely the results will give us surprise and we will be very happy to see the positive results when we whenever we be clear and it will be the day, the d day we can call it as okay girish you also mentioned that uh, you were in a job when you were posting your cma right so yes. how did you manage both because i know i'm managing both as uh, the toughest thing if you in case if you ask me so how did you manage and where you where you were working that time yeah it is actually a good question which helps us a lot uh, first of all let me tell uh, i mean a known fact it is like whenever we are doing the professional course mm-hmm. our professional courses require us to undergo training and give equal importance to the training as well as the examination it is not just clearing the examination yeah so we have to go through the training proper training and my training I say uh, though we can call it as a working so as a, a bcom student or a, a, or a cma student i was uh, working in an audit firm so it was a kind of helpful thing for me to uh, uh, formulate the approach for the professional course and the examination and uh, we could relate most of the practical things what we were getting in the training 
uh, we could relate it to the exams whenever we could see the examination question uh, for most of the questions we had the practical experience so also that we were if we are prepared enough academically so our exams used to be we could feel that uh, yeah this question is easy yeah i have experienced this so that is the kind of thing but uh, working and choosing a particular industry or for uh, at the time of uh, training uh, choosing a particular office or anything we have to i mean give importance to our exam list and the kind of uh, burden on us uh, in the office so uh, for me like uh, it used to be very very uh, i mean uh, lots of expectations were there from the office because of our performances and uh, audits and all everybody goes through that but it is all about the utilizing the exam holidays particularly and then uh, uh, we we should never be losing our opportunity given during the exam holidays so we have to choose a kind of organization and i know many of them like are uh, in a position and are they are working in such organizations where exam holidays are not given even then i think it is the key is to uh, i mean uh, waking up early in the morning or staring 2 to 3 hours even well before the examination we have to be uh, not depending on the examination leaves to come uh, come in the future we have to be preparing every day we have to spend with the spend 2 to 3 hours uh, a day with the books and we have to uh, continuously preparing ourselves Uh, keeping the view in for the coming attempt that is how i had uh, developed so i used to keep in touch with the books i used to revise every time i have to do practical and prepare myself for the examination and whenever the examination uh, leaves were granted to me and it was like a blessing for me and i could uh, study more on that and um, uh, all the examination went well after after few attempts So where mm-hmm. where where we were working? Uh, which uh, is it in CMA audit firm or uh, which? No, initially firm? at that point of time, I couldn't find any CMA audit firms. Uh, so okay. one of my uh, uh, my brother's friend had a CMA firm. Uh, he is okay. a chartered accountant. Mm-hmm. So I could train under him, and I was working with him. I worked there for about uh, seven to eight years. Uh-huh. So. it was a good exposure there like uh, i was into all kind of at that time we had vat income tax and roc mca related yeah. filings and all so uh, while undergoing the training i could see many of the practical things which which were replicating in my examination in the form of questions so that uh, that uh, that made us like a uh, very uh, handy uh, training actually in fact so uh, girish you told that uh, you were also faced uh, the failure like three or four attempts something you mentioned so is it because of your over confidence when you qualified your uh, intermediate at the first level or, or what 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 is it i just wanted to understand no 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 it is not about the over confidence i was confident enough uh, it was a confident uh, it was a kind of boost when i cleared my intermediate uh, examination in the first attempt okay but uh, it was never a over confidence thing uh it was like an uh, i mean uh, i was not i was myself taking it easy and i was as i had cleared intermediate i was not uh, particularly i mean i didn't have an idea how the final examination would be i was uh, more serious on my training and i was uh, as you know we, while working and taking experience in an audit firm and they give promotions to us and lots of responsibilities will be on us i was carried away by the uh, uh, my job commitments and all okay. uh, so a little uh, i mean concentration on the studies was little um, okay. but uh, whenever i used to give examination i put uh, half of the efforts and then i couldn't see so uh, that is how it went okay so the reason i asked this question uh, girish is like when i qualified i little had that kind of sense so i was thinking wow yes it's a easy course why should i not like clear that the groups in the uh, upcoming examination all those things then i also had uh, this kind of experiences in my other interviews and the other budding cms wherein they were 
telling this about an over confidence so that was the reason i mentioned but uh, luckily that uh, your confidence not over confident but you were just losing your concentration that was the thing okay yeah. the next question is like uh, you told um, about your strategy all those things. so how, what was your strategy is it like very simple strategy or is it, is it a very complicated for a strategy or what was that so what was your strategy to study each of your practical you, you can separate uh, uh, separately tell us about the practical how you used to prepare and the theory how you used to prepare so that it it, it will become a beautiful ingredient for our budding cms no uh, yeah uh, i'll repeat again in any professional course revisioning is the key for our success so um, my i was taught in the academies and all uh, most of the teachers also tell they keep telling that we have to revise 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 when it comes to practical questions uh, there are certain topics and there are certain questions which are uh, examiner's favorite questions so we have to uh, i mean uh, in a way we have to uh, capitalize those items and we have to practice them as much as possible and uh, when it comes to practical uh, uh, papers we have to be practicing regularly we have to keep in touch with the uh, uh, subjects or the papers and it has to be a continuous approach uh, there should not be any breaking in between though if i complete the complete syllabus in a week's time in 15 days time we have to start it again and we have to develop that kind of uh, repeated uh, uh, practice techniques and when it comes to theoretical papers i used to for myself i was comfortable uh, instead of uh, memorizing or reading it continuously i used to write a lot write a lot uh, my theory my strength in theoretical papers were like uh, repeat the writings i used to uh, get into the questions and write the answers repeatedly so that is how i could remember the answers at the in the examination hall uh, that is how i believed my 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 kind of strategy if i have to tell so you you used to practice i mean you used to study based on your timetable or you used to prepare yeah definitely time. definitely professional course without a timetable is never an easy thing okay. we have to allocate timing and we have to give weightage the required weightage and we have to analyze ourselves with the strengths and weaknesses we have to give the required weightage to the paper uh, in which we feel we are little weak and if we and we can't at the same time neglect the paper in which we are strong there is nothing like it is for our uh, internal analysis so if we analyze like that we have to give i mean the required weightage uh, as for our preparation and as for our strengths and weaknesses and it is all about maintaining the timetable and we should never we should never be ready to uh, compromise on our uh, uh, sticking to the timetable we have to go with the timetable i used to write it in a book or paste it on the cupboard and i used to have the timetable for me i was waking up around 6 o'clock from 7 to 10 and break uh, breakfast followed by breakfast and before lunch one session and after lunch i used to you uh, visit to the library also there uh, along with the friends i used to sit there and do the studies also after the library's um, uh, closure we used to sit together outside and we used to continue our studies and uh, come back somewhere in the uh, uh, for the dinner time to home and after that also uh, we should give the importance to sleep if we won't sleep for a given period un, uh, unless we take rest uh, it won't be much of the i mean the result won't uh, come actually okay we have to balance our life in fact okay how many hours you used to study every day and how many hours you used to study on weekends and how many hours during your study holidays so yeah this is a good question in fact uh, while working uh, i used to find it very difficult to open the book because of the stress and all so what i used to do is i used to get up a little early and spend 2 to 3 hours while week days and during the weekend whenever i find time i used to go to library rush to the library so catch the seat and i was sitting whole day there so weekends were also a kind of uh, a blessings for us at the time of working and after that when we get uh, when we used to get the 
exam holidays and all i used to full uh, spend full time on the study seat sir okay so do do you guys used to have any mock test because i stretch in my classes and all when i take classes for uh, coaching classes and all uh, for the students to have a mock test before the actual examination so would you uh, yes, guys suggest that or was that part of your study uh, plan or how, how what do you say about the mock no, definitely test? definitely before facing the real examination uh, at that point of time it was actually uh, offlet it was introduced something like uh, the mock test papers and revisionary Actually, test papers yes, were released by the institute at okay. that point of time uh -huh. but we had the previous examination question papers in uh, in hand so we used to give i used to take print out of the question papers and i used to write myself the examination wow. say 15 days 20 days before the examination at home or library somewhere we are sitting i used to give regularly write regularly write the examination so that that is the uh, i mean uh, kind of it is also a part of uh, preparation so that it gives the uh, idea or the strength to sit for 3 hours and uh, taking the question paper 15 minutes before and all those the planning the strategy and uh, most of the faculty as they say it is all about the psychology during that 3 year 3 uh, yeah. hours in fact Uh, three hours in the examination. Mm -hmm. So to prepare ourselves psychologically, we have to give our practice mock test paper. Guys, if you remember, in uh, most of the classes and in my most of the videos, also I tell you guys to at least have at least two mock tests before the examination because that will give a lot of boost, guys. It will help you to do time management. It will kill your exam fear as well. Also, it will tell you how to cope up. Your examination pressure in the examination hall because that mock test it should be in a real examination environment of three hours, not by taking any breaks or referring or uh, uh, going through your mobile and all those things should not be done. Think as if it's a real examination and then attempt and then if you see the results after your actual examination, it will be an awesome. That is what I can tell you because it's my experience. Okay, and uh, yeah, and I would like to add my experience as well. Uh, uh what happened was once i was not able to complete 100 marks paper i was uh, i mean in a theoretical paper i could write only 60 marks paper though i got 40 i was not able to i mean i was not able to clear that attempt but it was actually a very good question paper where i could have written 100 paper and i could have cleared my group as well Oh. but i failed because of that particular theory paper where i could not manage the time i spent time uh, writing a few of the nonsense things if i have to tell i wasted in particular question where there was no weightage at all but that is the psychology of the examination we have to we have to uh, if we have to experience that then we have to make sure that we are preparing at home and then going to the examination center yeah. uh, it is like a practice kind of thing which will definitely help which will definitely help great great uh, girish if you see this attempt that is june 2020 examination it has been postponed to july uh, i think 21st or something like that it postponed and uh, many people were like thinking examination should be postponed and uh, we need in uh, i mean the new revised date all those things so we got an additional uh, days for the examination so what what is your thought on this uh, this because it's uh, june um, beginning i know like we have another one one and a half month for the examination so postponing this kind of uh, i know for it should have been postponed because of the pandemic situation so how the su students can utilize this uh, additional uh, days would it be uh, helpful for the students or what what's your thought on this uh, my thought is like i would like to tell my fellow students that it is never too late okay if you have not started it has to be started today okay and we should not wait for the right time right time is now okay if we are if we are not started also never mind we still have time instead of regretting sometime in the future we have to start now and prepare ourselves positively okay there should be no room for any negativity and i i also request all the students to uh, give up the rumors about the postponing or cancelling all that as a student my duty is to prepare myself and be ready for the examination whether it is in the afternoon whether it is in the morning or whether it is in the after august or before august or sometime in july or they may do online examination 
we should not be i mean concentrating on that our concentration is on the preparation and we have to be on the right page that's it we have to concentrate mainly on our preparation and ignore all the gossips or the rumors whether they postpone or whether they don't conduct also uh, my intention is to give examination and come out with the positive results that's it girish uh, are you in a practice or are you in a job so what what's what's your yeah role? i have a practicing uh, a firm actually it is owned by me and i am also training few of the cma students under me i'm proud to say that uh, so it's going on well and we have lots of fortunes nowadays prospects also and uh, it all depends on our positive attitude how we approach the, in the practicing areas so uh, it's going on well and i'm also i i also feel happy that i'm training few of the students and all of them are giving examinations also great so thing. that's great thing to happen for me okay so after qualifying uh, you decided to uh, do your no, practice no, no. actually uh, soon after my qualification i couldn't come to practice actually i was in the employment after my uh, uh, working experience in the audit firm i was working in a startup company so okay. there i was uh, handling finance and accounts and also i mean uh, when i qualified i i was under the agreement and i had to continue there after one one and a half years time i decided to come to practice and uh, i'm doing that luckily unfortunately i'm doing well in the practice and and it is going on well for me so that means your uh, the practice form is 3 years uh, child now so is it going good no it's about 4 years no four it's years going okay. good yeah 4 years not good so in in which area you are uh, specialized uh, grish is like in cost audit or taxation or consult no, majorly, majorly i'm concentrating on taxation hmm. cost audit are also there but uh, majorly i'm concentrating taxation and do consulting kind of work and also into financing all the stuff okay so what 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 would you suggest for the budding cms is it like uh, they can think of practice or uh, job because many people like think if they go and join any of the company for sure they'll get a very and handsome uh, remuneration from the company handsome practice. yeah yes. so when it, when they come to practice for sure it's a lot of challenges because how many years yes. did you take to stabilize your practice so what what's your thought on this it all depends on the passion they have uh, it is not that uh, we don't have money in practice we don't have money in industry it is never like that okay. uh, once the once the qualification is in our hand it is like uh, sky is the limit for any of us it they all depends on the efforts what we put in our, uh, our work uh, culture or however it is so uh, it needs and as a professional also as i told you earlier it is a thing of continuous learning every day learning we have to continue learning even after qualifying the examinations so uh, it is about uh, our attitude and our uh, capabilities yeah. and it never matters whether we are working or we are practicing. we have to go with our passion chase our dreams and uh, uh, and make sure that we are persistent in the efforts so that we, if i'm liking practice then i'll choose practice and do whatever practice requires okay. if i get into industry then if i like my job that is sufficient put all the efforts to excel in our profession that is fine so okay. i would leave it to the students to decide whether to come to practice or whether to go to industry and nowadays also practice is taking different uh, uh, i mean different I uh, shape in fact if i have to tell it is not uh, working under a i mean another cost accountant or working in a good cost accounting firm and all it has come true they are also paying good salary nowadays and it is like uh, uh, i mean a good opportunity for all of the students so they can choose whether to come into core uh, industrial work or whether to come into practice do consulting work anywhere it is it is Uh, it is like unlimited uh, opportunities uh, unlimited opportunity they have yeah okay okay, okay. 
So uh, Girish, this is a good uh, question. Suddenly I just like got it. So in the in the current uh, technological advancements, you know, like many of the direct taxation has been like become online, and people they themselves yes. file it. And we also have many of the startup like might be clear tax, all those kind of thing. Who does the uh, direct taxation? Some of the thing and some of the thing with regards to GST, all those things. Uh, in a in a in a very very nominal uh, fee. So people in the mass they're just go, going there and trying to have a different experience. Then they might have one or two months of experience. Then they'll come out of that uh, and they'll try to approach an um, an individual who is in the practice. So, w- what do you say this kind of competition? Is it like, don't you think it's a it's a tough for an uh, a new person to start the practice by f- facing these kind of challenges? What's what? No, uh, practicing in fact uh, is a tough thing initially, okay. and uh, it's all about the patience we have. Okay. Uh, I mean, anything, any business asset uh, takes about one or two years to. I mean, settle down and have uh, a constant income and all. When it comes to practice, we have to have lots of patience and uh, catch hold of the clients and also, uh, I mean, have the, uh, uh, I mean, have the, we have to gain the belief from the clients and so that whatever work interested to, entrusted to us, it has to be, I mean, uh, properly uh, delivered and then definitely it, it gets bigger, bigger every day. It is never constant. So if I'm delivering good uh, people, I mean, like, uh, as you told, there are many platforms uh, in competition with the small firms, but it never, never be a challenging situation. For them. They have their own uh, client base. We have our own client base. We have to just give the best, best deliveries possible so that the client won't think of other uh, uh, opportunities for them. So how, how you used to promote your uh, practice to the clients? Is it like you used to do an advertisement, might be a Google AdSense online advertisement? No, no, no. no. Uh, as, a, as a practicing unit, we are not supposed to do any any uh, advertising as uh, as such. Okay. But it is all about the references. Uh, word of mouth publicity, uh, like uh, if, if a client is satisfied, he definitely brings one more client along with me. Okay. It has happened to me like that. So uh, it's because of uh, I'm fortunate enough that there are many references from within my client base. Uh, people, I mean, my client base is getting bigger because of the client references itself. Okay, okay, good, good, good. So, what's your next uh, goal um, after uh, starting your practice? Because I know as of now your practice is going good. And what's what's your next plan? Is it like you want to be in the practice itself, or like increase your practice, or like yeah, do yeah, what, what you goal? Always, yeah, as I've experienced in my um, in employment and all, I've chosen finally to be in practicing uh, line. So okay. my next goal would be to increase my uh, the present setup as soon as possible and okay. i also hoping the the training trainees under me would get qualified and we build a bigger setup so that we pitch in larger clients as well uh, okay. comparatively so that uh, it helps us in a way along with the development of our profession also so okay. i'm expecting that uh, i i am positive enough uh, like uh, i can see many fortunes to come and uh, this pandemic situation also gives us lots of opportunities yeah. and we should not lose hopes okay. so being positive is the most thing to i mean most uh, basic thing what we can uh, develop in ourselves so okay. it is going to be a best thing to do Great, great, uh, Girish. And I think it's it's such a great suggestion what you gave to our uh, budding CMS. And uh, with regards to the uh, planning of the examination and building the career, all at the final stage, what do you want to give your suggestion to the budding CMS? Whenever it comes to examination, whether it is inter or final, I request all the students to give their prompt efforts and uh, keep in touch with the books and the subjects, papers, and solve their doubts there and then and also i am repeating again revisioning is the key they have to revision n number of times there is no limit for revisions okay. even if i have completed for 100 times i could i should not be stopping it before the examination before i give the examination it has to be continuously done and i i i would uh, uh, request all the students to put their extra efforts until examination 
and come out of with the positivism and forget about studying that's all i want and uh, it's it's all about extra efforts during those 2 to 3 months and that's all and i i wish them all the best for their examination and i also request them not to give any ears to the rumors of postponing or not conducting the examination it is all their duties what the institute does or the examination body does our duty is to keep preparing ourselves and not to lose heart any time and uh, i also i mean suggest the students who are repeating and feeling like giving up the examination we should never give up the course once you give up it is all done and uh, we uh, we just let ourselves a good opportunity of becoming a professional uh, rather being a uh, i mean degree holder or something like that we should never give up the course okay. now uh, now our uh, i mean i can tell like today or tomorrow will definitely be qualified will definitely be qualified it's all about the effort and the preparation for our examination it is just that we should never give up the think of giving up the examination i have seen many students giving up in between telling the time not able to manage the time so complaining is the most uh, i mean unrequired uh, thing in the professional examination all the students have their own problems in their own way so people should not uh, uh, allow the problems to overcome the professional opportunity and they should all ignore all those kind of uh, negative aspects and be positive just concentrate on the examination just pass the examination that is enough all other things will sink in and it will be taken care of then great 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 nagesh uh, so girish i know it's it's an year end for you and you're just stuck with lot of things because of the uh, unable to contact the clients and uh, with a lot of virtual things you are doing your work and with that also because of the examination you thought of uh, meeting us and trying to give some of the most motivational stuff to our uh, budding seniors i think it's it's a great uh, honor having you in our uh, platform and i think uh, a great uh, salute for your time and your patience okay and at, at last what do you want to say uh, girish i think we have come to the end of our uh, i wish all the best to all the students and i am sure they are going to clear examination with the given situation and i think most of us didn't have anything other than studying for the examination during the lockdown situation yeah i am sure they have they have could have utilized that time for study itself and definitely it is going to give us the good result this time and i should just concentrate only on the examination nothing else than that once again all the best to all the students and i hope they'll definitely clear this time great uh, girish i think uh, we have come to our end of our uh... Uh, interview so i would like to uh, wish you all the best for your all the future endeavors on behalf of myself and behalf of all the same fraternity and uh, our budding same i think uh, again thanks for your time thank and, you so much uh, sir yeah and i uh, will try to meet you soon because i i i just met uh, my my this, this experience was really great in fact uh, yeah. this is the first kind of uh, i mean Uh, i had never uh, uh, taken up anything online like this though i had on calls with the clients and all this this kind of interview or something to speak about the profession it is really great and uh, you are doing a wonderful job to motivate the students and inspiring them is a great thing to do on earth and i i i thank you very much to taking up this kind of uh, good good work in fact thanks thanks a lot and it will help us uh, help all our students as well as the profession and i re- i request all the students to take this opportunity and go with the i mean the current uh, following uh, all this uh, online stuff and all it will help us a lot it was uh, it will help us a lot and i thank my uh, thank you personally for the opportunity given thanks a lot satish
great great guys uh, i i want to tell you how i met uh, gay so we used to i, I we are, we both from bangalore chapter so uh, when we used to meet uh, during our uh, the some of the uh, uh, the classes or some of the uh, seminars what used to be conducted in the uh, chapter we used to meet and then uh, by uh, through other friend i just met girish and it is very so uh, good so a person who will be talking openly not like hiding anything you should tell all the opportunities available in the uh, industry to other uh, budding cms I, I think that is when i decided okay i want to have this person in this platform so that he should be at least motivating one person because whenever i do any of the videos guys i expect at least one person should be motivated and think uh, he has given me a lot of things because i myself motivated because of his experiences and the practice of whatever he has just uh, shared with us okay so with this uh, i try to meet uh, one more uh, guest because i know i just missed uh, two or three months by not bringing any of the uh, guests because of the pandemic situation all those things i think uh, uh, girish is the first person to have face to face interview that is through electronic uh, mode i think uh, the credit should go to him also because of his idea all those stuff and uh, uh, okay girish i think uh, thanks for your time and all the best for your future and keep motivating all the budding cms G try to give a lot of opportunities to other cms all budding cms so that uh, uh, your name should be in their lives uh, I think that's what I wanted uh, you and I know you're doing I want sure, you to be increased sure. so that uh, uh, many CMS uh, should be joined to a CMM fraternity great uh, guys so with this uh, we'll end the interview you, with our uh, special guest CMM uh, Girish so with us uh, all the best for your examination do not worry what's going to happen in the exam I mean uh, during examination results just concentrate on your examination studies that's what matters okay so with this uh, we'll end the interview switch a grand uh, Oh, boy.